Okay. This is a little unusual format I'm doing this, but let's see if it works. So I have a program that is going to, uh, it extends uh, the Raspberry Pi 5 AI kit Halo example code to do uh, detection. And we could see some of the pre-existing stuff there. And then I've added some of my own. And uh, we connect to Milvis. I also connect to a Slack bot. Get our feature extractor there. Set up my uh, fields ID label of uh, what it detected. File name of the image. The S3 path where it's stored in Minio. The confidence that we get back on uh, what it is and uh, our actual vector. When we create that, we have that stored with our automatic ID. We had our index, we're ready to go. Uh, the rest of those are the standard code out of the box. And then we start adding some of our stuff here. And get the current time because this goes really fast. I'm kind of impressed how much uh, processing that the AI kit can do. Uh, so we're just gonna take a sample every so often uh if you have an idea for a better way to do that let me know but i'm just doing that and i'm only doing that when it detects something otherwise it's even more stuff and then i'm just gonna save the file locally and i'm going to update it with a uh, file name based on the label and the uid and just send that to my minio and then I'm also going to post a message on the label and confidence to Slack and upload that camera image. And then the hard part here, we do our image embedding, send it with a couple extra fields, our metadata, then we're good to go. Then we just loop. And this is all the standard code that was with it. So we have that running. And if you could see me over here, I'm going to start running it. It is connected to this camera here. It takes a couple of seconds to uh, boot up. As you can see, we're starting to detect stuff. And we'll see these images later. Uh, maybe we'll see an image of me. Uh, hi, Tim. And we'll see some images of maybe a NASA shuttle. Big hand. A duck. I don't know if it found the duck or if it knows what a duck is. I don't know if it'll get the cats here. Maybe it'll know what a cat is. It knows what a keyboard is, guesses what a computer is. It may know our uh, Raspberry Pi. It'll grab some things, and this is running. And if we watch it in the Slack channel, we could see we, we're getting these at the uh, certain time coming up. And see if we get me, hi me, and the keyboard. As you can see, that's detecting some things not detecting others based on the timing there and we're getting that pretty real time there and at the same time we are uploading to uh our milvis collection i'm going to stop this because i'm putting a lot of images here it's very difficult to run this and hold this camera while looking at that camera and that screen and now that one is done, so we don't really need to worry about that. So I'll just pull that off the screen, and we could take a look here. And this is at two showing us our vector store. Let's do a reload, make sure we got everything. We got 27 images. This is the schema, uh, vector, file name, and other stuff. We could also take a look here, and we are going to take a look in the object browser. I'm putting this in images. And that is the current time. We'll see if we got this data. Yep, we're getting stuff uploaded. And as you can see, we got a couple of images in the last couple of minutes. So our stuff is stored in Minio. Our stuff is stored uh, in our vector. And we could do some search here. We saw a couple of people. That's me. I put a filter by label here. We could do that for person. We could do it for a bunch of different things. Uh, we could do it in and show a couple, or we can, uh, you know, just uh, look at all the data and see what we have here. Again, we've been uh, install, uh, inserting a couple of rows here, laptop, person, lots of different stuff. But uh, 
easy to do that. Now we also have, like I said, we're, we're uploading these, as you can see with that text, to my uh, Slack group. We could also do it to Discord or something else. And I have a little, uh, a little notebook here that uh, runs uh, this code. We already have Bodo installed. Bodo is to do S3. It is uh, very helpful. So let's uh, run everything again, fresh. I've got a bunch of constants here, connect all my stuff, connect to Milvis again. And this is our query guy. And we are going to search for keyboards. Maybe we'll do keyboard and TV, give us back five. And this does, grabs and it, the latest image, the last image we uploaded, and grabs that, downloads that file, and we use that we as our embedding to search on. And we will do a search, and it's done before I could talk. So the search is fast. We iterate through it, and then I am downloading the files that it points to. And I am opening those images so you could see them here with uh, the metadata of the label the confidence of what it is, the image name, uh, where that's stored in the S3 path, and there the actual image. So we've got all the images and image data together. But what's cool is, besides everything being open source, uh, all that code is running on a Raspberry Pi, and it is connecting to a camera and using its own uh, AI, uh, accelerator to be able to do this live detection and there's image segmentation a bunch of other things and it's just a regular camera running on a portable device maybe i'll bring this to a meetup if people are interested and we get things around the room and this runs uh pretty fast and pretty easy take a look at the code thanks a lot